What's up guys? This is your favorite channel, The NFT Guy. Today's video is going to be very interesting as we're going to talk about the massive NFT boom expected in 2022. NFT sales volumes are off to a strong start in 2022, with January volumes setting all-time records. With such a high rate of growth and ever-increasing investors, NFTs can make you millionaires much faster than cryptocurrencies. Before proceeding, please note that this video is only for educational and informational purposes. It's not a financial advisory video. Please make sure to do some background research before investing. NFTs have been around since 2014, but it wasn't until 2021 that this revolutionary technology broke in through the mainstream, upsetting the art world and other businesses. The NFT scene has changed dramatically during the last 12 months, and now in 2022, NFTs expected to explode as NFTs expanding into many sectors. In 2021, NFTs had a breakout and trends have accelerated again in 2022. Use cases for NFTs are growing, which is likely to drive mainstream adoption. Several publicly traded companies are positioning themselves to catch the NFT gravy train. After a tremendous breakout year in 2021, it's apparent that non-fungible tokens NFTs will be part of our daily lives while ingesting material and interacting with apps such as digital pictures, images, games, music and movies, as well as maybe in other domains such as real estate. The number of applications for NFT is increasing. According to Block Report, Coachella, a prominent music event, has teamed up with the crypto exchange FTX US to offer an NFT collection. Consumers will be able to access festival passes, art prints, photo books, digital collectibles, unique real-life festival experiences and physical products with the NFTs called Coachella collectibles. The NFL has also said that people who go to the Super Bowl LV1 will get virtual commemorative tickets in the form of NFTs. As a result, we should learn more about NFTs and look for opportunities to invest in this type of digital asset. What's an NFT? NFTs are defined by CoinGecko as a type of digital ownership that reflects anything one of a kind, such as pictures, images, games, artifacts, music, films and so on. NFTs use cutting-edge smart contract technology to store and record unique information on the blockchain, ensuring that only one NFT is created at any given time. NFTs can be used to digitally validate the authenticity of an asset. NFTs can be bought and sold on specialized exchanges. Growing use cases Visual art, profile pic projects like CryptoPunks, Board Ape Yacht Club, Cryptodes, cultural collectibles like sports, music, photos, videos, and gaming currently account for the majority of NFT activity. NFTs provide a new opportunity for digital artists to monetize their work and talent. According to CryptoArt.io, digital artists will be able to sell more than $2.BT worth of art on Ethereum in 2021 because blockchain technology makes it easy to tell what is original. Companies like Activision Blizzard, Epic Games and Electronic Arts make billions of dollars from in-game items that gamers buy or earn, but they can't sell them. Because NFTs may be traded, users can turn their in-game achievements into money. Axie Infinity AXS USD is a popular play to earn gaming platform that also allows gamers to earn and sell NFTs. NFTs will almost certainly be used in video games. They've already been implemented into Ghost Reckon Breakpoint by Ubisoft and others are sure to follow. This can result in more revenue for gaming corporations. At the end of 2021, there were more than 6,000 NFT collections traded on OpenSea, but the majority of the volumes were concentrated among the few most popular collections. About 250 collections represented 80% of secondary NFT sales. CryptoPunks was established in 2017, even before the NFT craze, and has been consistently a leading collection until recently when it was surpassed by Board Ape Yacht Club. NFTs are a global phenomenon. Much like Bitcoin, BTC USD, and other cryptocurrencies, NFTs are traded by investors around the globe. NFT activity exploded in 2021 with signs of mainstream adoption. If 2020 was the year of DeFi, 2021 was the year of NFT. Total NFT trading volumes increased to $19.6 billion in 2021, up from $86 million in 2020. About 2 million NFT traders were active in 2021. After summer 2021, it appeared that the hype was over and the market was getting oversaturated with NFT collections. Activity sharply declined from a peak of $325 million in daily volume in September to only $50 million daily by November 2021. 
However, NFTs caught a second wind at the end of 2021 and early 2022, with sales volumes ramping back up again. We use OpenSea's volumes as an indicator of the NFT marketplace since it has a 90% plus market share among NFT marketplaces. In 2022, NFT sales are off to a decent start, with January volumes breaking all-time highs. More players will be attracted by such volumes. NFT marketplaces are a natural fit for cryptocurrency exchanges, with Binance, Bybit and Coinbase all launching or announcing plans to launch NFT marketplaces. Coinbase, which has 80 million users as of 4Q 2021, has the potential to become a major contender. In fact, their marketplace waiting list grew to 1.5 million people in just two days, surpassing OpenSea's active users. Fiat on-ramps will be available on the exchanges, making it easier for anyone outside the crypto industry to purchase NFTs. Coinbase, for example, will allow users to buy NFTs with cash using MasterCard, which should help the new customer onboarding. Furthermore, as previously said, gaming companies are likely to include NFTs in their games, thus exposing tens of millions of players to NFTs. By the end of the year, GameStop GME intends to create an NFT marketplace for in-game NFTs. NFT projects will be launched by more consumer companies and celebrities, providing the category with greater mainstream exposure. Significantly, NFTs will be used in areas other than visual arts, such as music, virtual real estate and in-game artifacts significantly expanding the territory. How can investors participate in NFT growth? Investors who are not yet part of the crypto trading ecosystem can invest through proxies such as Coinbase or GameStop or wait for OpenSea's IPO, which was recently hinted at. Other avenues to play NFTs include Meta and Twitter, both of which have announced plans to allow users to choose an NFT as their profile picture. When it comes to utilizing NFTs, these Web 2.0 social media behemoths are likely only scratching the surface. This is also logical because Meta is working on a virtual world called the Metaverse, which the company spends $10 billion on each year. Investors has multiple options. They can either number one, trade NFT collections on one of the most popular marketplaces, number two, purchase tokens from marketplaces such as LuxRare, SuperRare, and Rarible, as well as number three, invest in providers of NFT infrastructure like Immutable X, Worldwide Asset Exchange, and Loopring. Activate Consulting, a management consulting firm for the technology and entertainment industries, anticipates non fungible tokens to become mainstream by 2020. 22, claiming that every technology and media company will need to adopt this innovation. In its 2022 Tech and Media Outlook, an annual report which forecasts the key trends and offers insights into technology, Activate presented its view on NFTs, asserting that these digital collectibles will continue to make their way into the broader set of industries. Finally, it's important to keep in mind that cryptocurrency and NFT markets are extremely volatile, making it very difficult to accurately predict what a coin or NFT price will be in a few hours, let alone long-term estimates. As such, analysts can and do get their predictions wrong. We recommend that you always do your own research and consider the latest market trends, news, technical and fundamental analysis, and expert opinion before making any investment decision. Keep in mind that past performance is no indicator of future returns, and never invest more money than you can afford to lose. Also, please note that this is an instructional video and does not contain any financial recommendations. When investing, exercise extreme caution. If you enjoyed the video, please share your thoughts in the comment section, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.